The Abkhaz Georgian conflict involves ethnic conflict between Georgians and the Abkhaz people in Abkhazia, a de facto independent, partially recognized republic. In a broader sense, one can view the Georgian Abkhaz conflict as part of a geopolitical conflict in the Caucasus region, intensified at the end of the 20th century with the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991. The conflict, one of the bloodiest in the post Soviet area, remains unresolved. The Georgian government has offered substantial autonomy to Abkhazia several times. However, both the Abkhaz government and the opposition in Abkhazia refuse any form of union with Georgia. Abkhaz regard their independence as the result of a war of liberation from Georgia, while Georgians believe that historically Abkhazia has always formed part of Georgia. Georgians formed the single largest ethnic group in pre-war Abkhazia, with a 45.7% plurality as of 1989 but as of 2014 most Georgians left in Abkhazia want to remain independent of Georgia. Many accuse the government of Eduard Shevardnadze in office 1992 of the initiation of senseless hostilities, and then of ineffective conduct of the war and post-war diplomacy. During the war the Abkhaz separatist side carried out an ethnic cleansing campaign which resulted in the expulsion of up to 250,000 ethnic Georgians and in the killing of more than 15,000. The Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe OSCE conventions of Lisbon, Budapest and Istanbul have officially recognized the ethnic cleansing of Georgians, which UN General Assembly Resolution GA. 10708 also mentions. The UN Security Council has passed a series of resolutions in which it appeals for a ceasefire. Topic. Background Topic. Soviet era Both Abkhazia and Georgia were annexed into the Russian Empire in the 19th century, and remained part of it until the Russian revolutions of 1917. While Georgia initially joined the Transcaucasian Democratic Federative Republic and subsequently became independent as the Democratic Republic of Georgia in 1918, Abkhazia was initially controlled by a group of Bolsheviks, before ultimately joining the DRG, though its status was never clarified. In 1921 the Red Army invaded Abkhazia and Georgia, eventually incorporating them into the Transcaucasian Socialist Federative Soviet Republic. Initially Abkhazia was formed as an independent Soviet Republic, the Socialist Soviet Republic of Abkhazia SSR Abkhazia, though it was united with the Georgian Soviet Socialist Republic by a treaty. In 1931 the SSR Abkhazia was downgraded to an autonomous republic within the Georgian SSR, to much opposition from the Abkhaz. Throughout the Soviet era the Abkhazians called for their quasi-independent status to be restored. Demonstrations in support of this occurred in 1931 immediately after the dissolution of the SSR Abkhazia, and again in 1957, 1967, 1978, and 1989. In 1978, 130 representatives of the Abkhaz intelligentsia signed a letter to the Soviet leadership, protesting against what they saw as Georgianization of Abkhazia. War in Abkhazia The conflict involved a war in Abkhazia, which lasted for 13 months, beginning in August, 1992, with Georgian government forces and a militia composed of ethnic Georgians who lived in Abkhazia and Russian-backed separatist forces consisting of ethnic Abkhazians, Armenians and Russians who also lived in Abkhazia. The separatists were supported by the North Caucasian and Cossack militants and, and officially by Russian forces stationed in Gudauta. The conflict resulted in an agreement in Sochi to cease hostilities, however, this would not last. Resumption of hostilities In April to May 1998, the conflict escalated once again in the Gali district when several hundred Abkhaz forces entered the villages still populated by Georgians to support the separatist-held parliamentary elections. Despite criticism from the opposition, Eduard Shevardnadze, president of Georgia, refused to deploy troops against Abkhazia. A ceasefire was negotiated on May 20. The hostilities resulted in hundreds of casualties from both sides and an additional 20,000 Georgian refugees. In September 2001, around 400 Chechen fighters and 80 Georgian guerrillas appeared in the Kodori Valley in extremely controversial conditions. 
The Chechen Georgian paramilitaries advanced as far as Sokomi, but finally were repelled by Abkhaz and Gudauta based Russian peacekeepers. Saakashvili era The new Georgian government of President Mikhail Saakashvili promised not to use force and to resolve the problem only by diplomacy and political talks. While at a Commonwealth of Independent States CIS summit, it was decided to exclude any contact with separatists. The trans border economic cooperation and transport between Abkhazia and Russia grows in scale, with Russia claiming that all this is a matter of private business, rather than state. Georgia also decries the unlimited issuing of Russian passports in Abkhazia with subsequent payment of retirement pensions and other monetary benefits by Russia, which Georgia considers to be economic support of separatists by the Russian government. In May 2006, the Coordinating Council of Georgia's government and Abkhaz separatists was convened for the first time since 2001. In late July, the 2006 Kodori crisis erupted, resulting in the establishment of the de jure government of Abkhazia in Kodori. For the first time after the war, this government is located in Abkhazia, and is headed by Malkaz Akishbeya, Timur M. Javaya and Ada Marshania. Currently, the Abkhaz side demands reparations from the Georgian side of $13 billion in U.S. currency for damages in this conflict. The Georgian side dismisses these claims. On May 15, 2008 United Nations General Assembly adopted resolution recognizing the right of all refugees including victims of reported ethnic cleansing to return to Abkhazia and their property rights. It regretted the attempts to alter pre-war demographic composition and called for the rapid development of a timetable to ensure the prompt voluntary return of all refugees and internally displaced persons to their homes. On July 9, 2012, the OSCE Parliamentary Assembly passed a resolution at its annual session in Monaco, underlining Georgia's territorial integrity and referring to breakaway Abkhazia and South Ossetia as «occupied territories». The resolution urges the government and the parliament of the Russian Federation, as well as the de facto authorities of Abkhazia, Georgia and South Ossetia, Georgia, to allow the European Union monitoring mission unimpeded access to the occupied territories. It also says that the OSCE Parliamentary Assembly is concerned about the humanitarian situation of the displaced persons both in Georgia and in the occupied territories of Abkhazia, Georgia and South Ossetia, Georgia, as well as the denial of the right of return to their places of living. The Assembly is the parliamentary dimension of the OSCE with 320 lawmakers from the organization's 56 participating states, including Russia. August 2008 On August 10, 2008, the Russo-Georgian War spread to Abkhazia, where separatist rebels and the Russian Air Force launched an all-out attack on Georgian forces. Abkhazia's pro-Moscow separatist president Sergei Bagaps said that his troops had launched a major military operation to force Georgian troops out of the Kodori Gorge, which they still controlled. As a result of this attack, Georgian troops were driven out of Abkhazia entirely. On August 26, 2008, the Russian Federation officially recognized both South Ossetia and Abkhazia as independent states. In response to Russia's recognition of Abkhazia and South Ossetia, the Georgian government announced that the country cut all diplomatic relations with Russia and that it left the Commonwealth of Independent States. Topic after the war Relations between Georgia and Abkhazia have remained tense after the war. Georgia has moved to increase Abkhazia's isolation by imposing a sea blockade of Abkhazia. During the opening ceremony of a new building of the Georgian embassy in Kiev Ukraine, in November 2009 Georgian President Mikhail Saakashvili stated that residents of South Ossetia and Abkhazia could also use its facilities I would like to assure you, my dear friends, that this is your home, as well, and here you will always be able to find support and understanding. Topic see also Georgian Ossetian conflict Ethnic cleansing of Georgians in Abkhazia Sokomi massacre Politics of Abkhazia Russian Circassian War Topic Notes Topic Bibliography Topic Further reading Anderson, Andrew. Russia vs. Georgia, One Undeclared War in the Caucasus, Blair, Heather Ethnic conflict as a tool of outside influence, an examination of Abkhazia and Kosovo, 2007 Goltz, Thomas. Georgia Diary, A Chronicle of War and Political Chaos in the Post-Soviet Caucasus, M. E. Sharp, 2006. ISBN 0-7656-1710-2 Lynch, Dov. 
The Conflict in Abkhazia, Dilemmas in Russian Peacekeeping Policy. Royal Institute of International Affairs, February 1998. McFarlane, S., N., On the Front Lines in the Near Abroad, the CIS and the OSCE in Georgia S. Civil Wars, Third World Quarterly, Vol. 18, No. 3, pp. 509-525, 1997. Marshania, L., Tragedy of Abkhazia, Moscow, 1996 McCallion, Amy Abkhazian Separatism Steel, John. War Junkie, One Man Backquote's Addiction to the Worst Places on Earth, Corgi, 2002. ISBN 0 552 14984 5. White Book of Abkhazia, 1992 1993 Documents, Materials, Evidences. Moscow, 1993. Topic external links Accord issue on the Georgia-Abkhazia peace process also includes chronology and key texts and agreements, in English and in Russian documented accounts of ethnic cleansing of Georgians in Abkhazia. Archived from the original on 7 June 2007. Retrieved 7 June 2007. In Russian Documented accounts of ethnic cleansing of Abkhazians by Georgians in Russian Government of Abkhazia in exile.